Hey guys, got my friend here, The Undertaker, with me. Uh, he's gonna help me out with uh, announcements or he's just gonna glare angrily at me or maybe, maybe it's you, okay? Hey, I'm glad you're here today and I, I'm excited uh, about, about what God is doing in our lives and I, I just wanna share just a couple of things with you. I, first of all, I wanna say thank you for giving faithfully. Several of you have been giving uh, through the online and text to give options. Others have mailed in their offerings and dropped them off at our house. And thank you guys for, for being faithful to the Lord. I also want to remind you to, to pray and to for our missionaries and continue to give. They're counting on us through this time and they have been impacted uh, in, in this uh, in this stay at home and the things that, that, that we're really, they, they've had to stay in country. Listen, if you have any questions about our online giving, don't hesitate to call or contact Gina or me and, and we'll help you get set up in that, in that regard. There's two opportunities that we have to connect. I wanna mention the men are doing a U version of, um, a Bible study. Uh, it's called Man Up. It's a it's a 28 day reading that'll start this coming Sunday. Bobby Atkins has sent invitations for you to be a part of that. I think even the Undertaker will be there with us. Uh, well, maybe not. He's looking a little stiff. But anyway, that it, it'll be a great opportunity for you to to connect with the other men here in the church as we share in that Bible study every day. Uh, Gina has her life study on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock. Uh, she'll have the study guides available on the website tomorrow. And I, and I should mention the new website is going to launch uh, probably tomorrow. All new look, all new layout, a uh, little bit simpler, a little bit cleaner look. We're excited about that. We want to encourage you this Sunday to join us for live stream service, uh, our live stream service, at, at least for the next two Sundays, April 19th and April 26th. As long as the stay-at-home order is still in place, we're going we're gonna to continue to do our live stream on Sundays at, at um, 10 o'clock in the morning. Look, like, comment, and share on Facebook. Listen to this statistic. Last Sunday, for Easter Sunday, we reached 1,234 people with our live stream. 464 people watched it from as far away as, uh, as Florida, Michigan, and Texas. Most though, over 85% of the people were, that watched it were right here in Kentucky. So uh, what, a, what a great opportunity. 411 engagements. Uh, Sarah's song uh, that we did as the Easter egg afterwards has, has had over 550 views. So th this has been a terrific opportunity for us. This Sunday, if you're watching uh, the live stream on Facebook, take a picture, post it in the comments. It's a great way to connect, it, it, to see each other. Uh, look, if you're in your PJs, great. Uh, if you are uh, if you got a cup of coffee in your hand, that's fine too. This is just a terrific way for us to connect. So take a picture, post it in the comments. Uh, it, we're also gonna be live streaming on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We, I think we have 43 subscription, 44 subscriptions right now. We wanna get it up to 100, that's our goal. So uh, spread the word in that regard. Some of you have asked about drive-in church like other churches have done. Look, if the stay-at-home order continues beyond April, then we're talking about a possible drive-in service in May. Stay tuned to these kind of announcements, we'll let you know. Stay connected. This is the most important thing that, that, that we want for you, to stay connected with God every day in the Word, in prayer, and to stay connected with each other. Contact, connect with three people every day, whether it's a phone call, a text, or an email, or a, a Facebook post. Listen, connect with three people every day. Ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes to the needs of those around you. Be Jesus' hands, be His voice, be a, a conduit for His love. We began this year, 2020, with the theme, Kairos. It's our theme, that, the thread that's going to run through the whole year. And we said that Kairos is the Greek word for the app appointed time set by God. So much about our current situation is unprecedented. That means it's never happened before. We've never experienced this. But this moment should not be wasted because God wants to do something unprecedented. It's a Kairos moment. And He wants to do something unprecedented in and through your life. If it's a reset, 
from your previously hectic and out of control life, then make that change. If it's created opportunities for you to reconnect with your loved ones in significant ways, then then continue those things beyond this, this time. If it's exposed misplaced priorities and maybe things you've taken for granted, then c- come on, let's, let's show our gratitude now and beyond this moment. If this has stirred a spiritual renewal in your heart, a turning back in your heart to God, great with greater devotion, more determination, better communication, listen, we want that to continue. Soon enough, life's going to go back to normal, whatever that means, but it should. We don't want to waste the changes that God's trying to do in our hearts right now. Let's not waste the Kairos moment of what God is trying to do. Listen, I, I, I'm so uh, excited because I believe that God is going to do something unprecedented in your life. That's how I've been praying. And I'm going to continue to pray that way. We're praying for uh, God's protection over people as they serve. And, and I, I, listen, why don't we do that right now? Let's just agree in prayer together. Father, you know what's going on in people's lives. Lord, people have been impact, impacted by this physically. They've been impacted by it financially. Lord, uh, some Lord, uh, are, are working in the front lines uh, as nurses, doctors, and uh, at, in, Lord, others in, in other frontline areas. We thank you, God, for the essential workers that continue to serve our community, that continue to serve us. We pray, God, your protection over them. We pray that you would bless them, continue to provide. Lord, for those that, are, that have been impacted physically, Lord, uh, through this virus, we pray for your healing in, in, their, in their lives. We pray for your touch. We pray as well, Lord, for those that have been impacted financially. We pray for your provision, meet their needs. God, we look forward to the testimonies of what you've done in people's lives and what you've done through their lives in this time. We thank you for it. God, we're going to continue to look to you. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. And we rejoice in you, Jesus. We ask all this in your name. Amen? Amen. God bless you guys. Thanks for joining me for this short time. 